to demonstrate anaerobic respiration. The incomplete breakdown of the respiratory substrate in the absence of oxygen is called anaerobic respiration. It results in the production of CO2, organic acids and alcohol. Madam, how can we demonstrate anaerobic respiration? In glycolysis, glucose is converted into two molecules of pyruvate and two ATP and two NADH plus H plus are also formed. Pyruvate is then broken down anaerobically to lactic acid or ethyl alcohol and CO2 depending on organism and type of tissue. Let's do an experiment to demonstrate anaerobic respiration. Our aim here is to demonstrate anaerobic respiration. The materials required are germinating seeds, test tubes, mercury, beaker, KOH pellets, forceps. Procedure Take a few germinating seeds or soaked seeds without seed coat in a test tube. Fill this test tube with mercury. Invert this test tube in a beaker containing mercury. Leave it undisturbed for 4 to 5 hours. You will observe that the level of mercury falls in test tube. Now introduce KOH pellets into the test tube with the help of forceps. Observations When the setup is left undisturbed for 4 to 5 hours, the level of mercury falls in the test tube due to collection of CO2 gas released by the seeds. When KOH pellet is introduced in the test tube, KOH absorbs the gas and hence level of mercury again rises up showing that the gas released by seeds is CO2. 2KOH plus CO2 gives K2CO3 plus H2O potassium carbonate. Result, the seed releases CO2 due to anaerobic respiration and thus the level of mercury falls. As KOH absorbs the CO2 gas, level of mercury again rises thus showing that seeds respire anaerobically releasing CO2. Precautions Remove the seed coats of soaked seeds Invert the test tube carefully so as not to allow air bubbles to pass into the test tube. Petri dish used should be deep enough. Thank you ma'am for this knowledgeable experiment.